So this one time I was relaxing on my couch. And since it, since it is so tough to sit there all day, I decided to go to my kitchen to make myself lunch. And after scouring the pantry and fridge two times, hoping something would miraculously appear in a thin air the second time I checked, it didn't, by the way. I decided to test my skills in the culinary arts to the truest form. I made a sandwich. And that's exactly what I'm here to talk to you about today. But not just any run-of-the-mill sandwich. No, no, no. I'm here to talk about the most legendary and world-renowned breed of sandwiches. The art of the perfect sandwich. And you see, what makes the perfect sandwich so magical is that it's not just a sandwich. You could be using the steps, but end up making a garden shed, or a book, or a presentation. And furthermore, the perfect sandwich is opinion-based. If you think you've achieved near perfect, and somebody disagrees with you, that's their opinion. It's different from yours. So of course we have to start off with our bread, our base. And the bread is, in a way, is like the cover of a book. It holds everything in, but it also holds the first impression. And although people say not to judge a book by its cover, first impressions are still important. So make sure you put in a good deal of effort right here to make your first impression outstanding, even if whatever you're making is for yourself. I still say, dang, I made this? To myself after I've executed a perfect sandwich on anything. So next we have our sauces. And this is my favorite part of the sandwich because it represents your best effort put into a single ingredient. For example, it would be like a light or a window in your shed, a unique character or plot element in your book, or the colors um, or the visuals on your presentation. But the danger in sauces is that there can be inconsistencies. Make sure you spread out your sauce. Make sure you spread out your effort. If there's too much effort in one area, it can feel too concentrated and people can't focus on what you're saying. There's too much going on at once. And if there's too little, then people find it boring and lose interest in the rest of your project. And the next part, before you groan and sigh at the vegetables, is which are the beneficial aspect of the sandwich. And what I mean by that is, by putting vegetables in your sandwich, you've now balanced out your sandwich. You've made it beneficial to eat it, in a way. And applying this, it would be like, now you have storage space for your tools in that shed, or you've educated or entertained somebody and possibly made money with your book. And if you follow the steps right, you should have a pretty good mark on that presentation. And, and now everything I've taught you, every ingredient, every step, is all for this moment. The meat, or fish, whatever floats your boat. And the whole point of this is it's like the main content of, of your sandwich. Whatever you built is for this. For your shed, it's the tools you're putting inside it. For the book, it's the story. And for the presentation, it's the information you're presenting. And with that being said, if you lack content, the rest of your sandwich will lack. If you lack tools, what's the point of building a shed? You could keep them in a small box in your garage. Nobody's going to pick up your book in the first place if you lack a good story. And what's the point of making a presentation if you have nothing to present? It's just a bunch of pictures with cool colors. <laughs> and now that we've gotten through the intense part of the sandwich, it brings us to the last easy part. The extra topping. Like chips, chili peppers, or pickles, if you're feeling like really wild and out there, you might go with cheese. <laughs> and the whole point of this is to finish up everything in a nice, neat manner, to get everything done with a nice, neat little bow. So, applying this, it would be like the paint color or the floor inside your shed, the font you produce your book in, or the slide transitions, and again, the font on your presentation. And that about sums up what I have to say. 
And before I step off stage, just to wrap everything up. The perfect sandwich isn't a technique that's going to get you, get you everything done in a perfect manner, but rather a tool that's going to help you strive to achieve your highest possible. And just to say all the ingredients in a nice, quick little sentence, there's the bread base, the best effort sauces, the beneficial veggies, the main component meat, and the complementary extra toppings. So, Line? No, I'm joking. Thank you for listening, everybody. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>